Hi friends, welcome to World. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity. Configure a basic WLAN that is wireless LAN on the WLC. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you like to get any CCNA version 7 online classes or any other technical supports, you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. And don't forget to enable that bell icon so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Now coming back to this pack tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table. We will go through the objectives. In this lab, we will explore some of the features of a wireless LAN controller. Uh, that is a WLC. You will create a new wireless LAN on the controller and implement security on that LAN. Then uh, we will configure a wireless host to connect to the new wireless LAN through an AP that is under the control of the WLC. Finally, we will uh, verify connectivity. Here you can uh, see the objectives connect to a wireless LAN controller GUI. Explain some of the information that is available on the WLC monitor screen. Then configure a wireless LAN on a wireless LAN controller. Then implement security on a wireless LAN. Then configure a wireless host to connect to wireless LAN. We will go through the scenario. An organization is centralizing control of their wireless LAN by replacing their standalone access points with lightweight access points that is LAP, and a wireless LAN controller, that is WLC. We will be leading this project and you want to become familiar with the WLC and any potential challenges that may occur during the project. We will configure a WLC by adding a new wireless network and securing it with WPA-2 PSK security. To test the configuration, we will connect a laptop to the wireless LAN and ping devices on the network. That's fine. Uh, we will start with the instructions. In part 1, monitor the WLC. Wait until STP has converged on the network. You can click the packet tracer fast forward time button to speed up the process. Continue when all link lights are green. So here in this topology we can see all link lights are in green. Otherwise you can click on this fast forward here in this bottom left. Go to the desktop of admin PC and open a browser. Enter the management IP address of WLC-1 from the addressing table into the address bar. You must specify the HTTPS protocol. So coming to our topology, here we can see WLC-1 interface management and its IP address. Just we will copy this address. Then we will go to this admin PC desktop and here is a web browser. Then paste that address. I mean the address of this uh, WLC-1 then press go. So here we will uh, give HTTPS. Here we can see HTTPS then again press go. Click login and enter these credentials, username, admin, password, cisco123. After a short delay, you will see the WLC monitor summary screen. So here we will click on login, then we will give the username as admin, then the password as cisco123 and here C is in caps, then login. Yes, here we can see the WLC monitor summary screen. They given a note here, Packet Tracer does not support the initial dashboard that has been demonstrated in this module. Okay, now uh, scroll through the monitor summary screen. Uh, what can be learned from this screen? Many things can be learned from this, uh, uh, you know, from this initial dashboard. I will maximize it and here we can see Controller summary which shows management IP address, software version and other information, system name, 
and here we can see a rock summary also here we can see access point summary then a client summary yeah that's fine then is the wlc connected to an ap that is access point so coming to this here we can see in access point summary we can see total one as yes, it's connected so we can see that in this access point summary then click detail and next to the all ap entry in the access point summary section of the page what information can you find about APs on the old AP screen? Okay, here we can see that in access point summary, we'll go to details, we'll maximize it, and here we can see detail. So here we can see number of APs, it's one access points, right? Then we can see it's an AP name, that is a lab-1, then it's IP address, AP model, then we can see AP MAC address, AP uptime. You can see many information like admin status, operational status, then POE status, that is power over Ethernet. Also, we can uh, see speed of uh, each Ethernet, number of clients, a port, AP mode, so many details. Now coming to part 2, create a wireless LAN. Now we will create a new wireless LAN on the WLC. We will configure the settings that are required for host to join the wireless LAN. Step 1, create and enable the wireless LAN. Click wireless LANs in the WLC menu bar. Locate the drop down box in the upper right hand corner of the wireless LAN screen. It will say create new. Then click go to create a new wireless LAN. Okay, uh, coming to this. Uh, here we can see uh, monitor, WLANs, controller, wireless, security, etc. We will click on this uh, wireless LANs. And here we can see create new. We will click on this go. Then enter the profile name of the new wireless LAN. Use the profile name floor to employees. Then assign an SSID of uh, SSID-5 to the wireless LAN. Host will need to use this SSID to join the network. So here we will give the profile name. It's uh, floor to employees. Okay, then we will give the SSID. It's uh, SSID-5. Then select the ID for the WLAN. This value is a label that will be used to identify the WLAN as other displays. Select a value of 5 to keep it consistent with the VLAN number and SSID. This is not a requirement but it helps with the understanding the topology. Okay, here in this ID we will choose 5. Then click apply so that the settings go into effect. So now we will click apply now that the wlan has been created we can configure features of the network click enabled to make the wlan functional it is a common mistake to uh, accidentally skip this step coming back to the wlc here we can see status enabled click on this uh, enabled Okay, then choose the VLAN interface that will be used for the WLAN. The WLC will use this interface for user traffic on the network. Click the drop down box for interface uh, slash interface group G. Select the WLAN 5 interface. This uh, interface was previously configured on the WLC for this activity. Okay, here we can see interface slash interface group G. So here we will select. This is WLAN-5. Then uh, click the Advanced tab. Here we can see Advanced tab. 
security quality of service policy mapping and advanced we will click on this advanced okay then scroll down to the flex connect portion of the page click to enable flex connect local switching and flex connect local auth okay here we will scroll down and uh, yeah advanced and here we can see flux connect local switching we will uh, click on this enabled also we can see flux connect local auth we will enable it then click apply to enable the new uh, wlan if you forget to do this the wlan will not operate so here we have to uh, uh, click apply Coming to step 2, secure the WLAN. The new WLAN currently has no security in place. This WLAN will initially use WPA2-PSK security. In another activity, we will configure the WLAN to use WPA2-Enterprise, a much better solution for larger wireless networks. Then in the WLANs, edit screen for the floor to employees WLAN. Click the security tab under the layer 2 tab select wpa plus wpa2 from the layer 2 security drop down box this will reveal the wpa parameters okay coming back here we can see wlan's edit floor to employees here we can see this tab security then we can see layer 2 security click on this drop down list and we will select wpa plus uh, WPA2. Then click the checkbox and next to WPA2 policy. So here we can see WPA2 policy. We will enable this checkbox. Okay. This will reveal additional security settings. Under authentication key management, enable PSK authentication key management here we can see authentication key management we will enable this PSK now we can enter the pre-shared key that will be used by host to join the WLAN use Cisco 123 as the passphrase then click apply to save these settings okay here we will give that Cisco 123 then we will give apply press ok to continue they given a note here it is not a good practice to reuse passwords when configuring security uh, we have a reused passwords in this activity to sim uh, simplify configuration yeah that's correct then coming to step 3 verify the settings after applying the configuration click back this will take you back to the WLANs screen okay here we will click on this back button yeah that's fine and what information about the new WLAN is available on this screen yeah here we can see VLAN ID it's a type profile name then a WLAN SSID, then admin status, security policies, etc. If you click the WLAN ID, uh, you will be taken to the WLAN's edit screen. Use this uh, to verify and change the details of the settings. That means again, if you click on this uh, WLAN ID, yeah, we can go to this page and uh, we can verify our settings now we will go to part 3 connect a host to the WLAN step 1 connect to the network and verify connectivity so here just we'll go back then we will minimize this now go to the desktop of wireless host 
and click the PC wireless tile. So here we can see our wireless host and we will click on this wireless host. Then go to desktop and uh, here we can see PC wireless. Then click the connect tab. So here we can see connect tab. Yeah. After a brief delay, you should uh, see the SSID for the WLAN appear in the table of wireless network names. Select the SSID-5 network and click the connect button. Yeah, here we can see that SSID-5. So we will uh, click on this and then give connect. Then we have to enter the pre-shared key that you configured for the WLAN and click connect. So we will give that here as uh, Cisco123, correct? Then we will connect. Coming to our topology, here we can see this wireless host is connected to this uh, lab-1. Now click the link information tab. You should see a message that confirms that you have successfully connected to the access point. You should also see a wireless wave in the topology showing the connection to lab-1. Yeah, already we have seen that. Also, we'll go to a link information and here we can see you have successfully connected to the access point. Then click the more information button to see details about the connection. So here we can see more information. Wireless network status. We can see radio band, wireless network name, wireless mode, security, authentication, network type, IP address, submit to mask, default gateway, DNS1 and its MAC address. Okay, then uh, close the PC wireless app and open the IP configuration app. Verify that a wireless host has received a, a non APIPA IP address over DSCP. If not, click the fast forward time button a few times. So we will uh, close this. Then we will go to IP configuration. And here we can see. DHCP, we received the IP address, submit to mask and default gateway. Okay, now uh, from wireless host, ping the WDAN default gateway and the server to verify that the laptop has full connectivity. Okay, so just we will uh, go to command prompt and we will uh, ping to our server. Here we can see our server IP address. Paste it, then press enter. Request timed out, and we can see we get the replies. Also, we will ping to this address WLC 1. And we are waiting for the uh, replies. Request timed out. Maybe we get, yeah, one or two request timed out and then we can see we get the replies. We can uh, press up arrow from keyboard so that again we get that ping command and press enter. So we can see we get replies. Great. Dear friends, in this video we discussed uh, this packet tracer activity. Configure a basic WLAN on the WLC. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this activity, please comment below or you can contact our team using our website. Link you will get from the description below. And also, if you like our video, give it a thumb and share with all your friends. Stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.